Hey what's up guys, my name is Charlie, today we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic and it's going to be the top 11 dumbest moments in Superman. Oh boy, I've watched all the Superman movies and i got to say the first original Superman movie was one of my favourites, I'm sorry, but Christopher Reeve was an incredible Superman. A lot of people prefer the Superman Man of Steel one, but Christopher Reeve's performance in the first original Superman movie, my god, that was incredible. Uh, unfortunately, Christopher Reeve is a... Uh, dead now unfortunately died quite a while back um which is a shame god rest his soul because he was an incredible superman uh i mean superman the movie the first one was great and the second superman movie was hell it was even better <laughs> uh unfortunately the third one sucks uh i think that was the one with richard Pryor in it or something like that and then the fourth one Oh god, that was dreadful. Um, but uh, the fifth one, um, which was like a newer one, made in like 2007 or 2008, I'm not quite sure. Don't uh, <laughs> correct me on that. I'm not sure, well, correct me on it, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's correct. Uh, but I think it was like made in 2007, 2008. I remember that one. I can't remember the title, but I remember watching it, and that was god awful. Uh, I didn't enjoy that one at all. And then I watched the Man of Steel one, and that was decent. I, I actually really enjoyed the Man of Steel one. Um, that was actually really good. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, check out this video, shall we? Let's go. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. <laughs> what can you say about the action-packed, family-friendly Superman movies? Totally awesome. Them. Well, most of them. Yeah. Well, some of them. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah. Either way, they're part of the all-American icon that is Superman. Now, for as good as these movies get, and as bad as these movies get, they all have their fill of stupid, yeah. stupid moments. Mm, now, I know they're remember supposed to be lighter moments. and more friendly, but most of the time the they just come fourth. off as logically idiotic. That's why I've compiled a list of the top 11 dumbest moments in the Superman films. Okay. Why top 11? Because I like to go one step beyond. So, <laughs> sit back and enjoy the top 11 stupidest <laughs> Superman moments. Okay, let's see what he's got to offer. Let's give him a fair chance. He's insulting my Superman. <laughs> okay. Number 11. Number 11. The casting of Superman Returns. Oh god, now, yeah. Like Kevin Spacey, this one Frank sucked. Gella, they did okay. What I'm mainly referring to is Brandon Roth as Superman and Kate Bosworth as Lois. I didn't like this one. I mean, this one was terrible. Right? They look 16. <laughs> it's like if Superman met Dawson's Creek. Oh, wait, they already did that, but you get my point. They're simply too young to be in these roles. <laughs> when I saw the first Superman movie, I didn't see actors. I saw friggin' Superman and Lois Lane. When I saw this new movie, I saw kids dressing up for Halloween. Where did the real <laughs> actors go? Sounds cheesy, I know. On top of that, they were pretty bland. I mean, both of them are supposed to be strong-willed, clever, and spunky characters. But here, it was like watching first graders holding hands at a school play. You didn't really buy it. It's a little... alien. I guess the reasoning mm. behind this casting was, despite his age, Brandon Roth did look an awful lot like Christopher Reeve. Mm. Well, if that's the reasoning, why didn't you hire this kid then? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, these two aren't horrible. They're just miscast. And when your protagonists look like people you'd ask to the prom rather than all-American heroes, mm. something is definitely wrong. Personally, I think that's a load of crap. Oh boy. Alright, number, number 10. 10. The dumbass kid at Niagara Falls from Superman 2. Yeah, you remember this little moron? I mean, I know you gotta put people in perilous situations, but how dumb is this kid? Yeah. And where the hell is his mother? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, honey, that's nice. Just don't fall off into the waterfall, okay? Honey, I love <laughs> yeah. your brothers that way. Oof, what a I know stupid kids mother. do stupid things, but this is pretty hard to swallow. I mean, does the idiot have a death wish? My guess is he's probably friends with that girl who plays hopscotch off a cliff on that corner. <laughs> there are probably stupid kids oh, who do that this. Came totally out of nowhere. <laughs> Remember me as a foolish clown. <laughs> of course, though, Superman comes in to rescue the boy and save the day. Take that, Darwin! Natural selection doesn't win today! <laughs> there you go. Again! Again! No, I'm sorry. Only one ride to a customer. And if you try to commit suicide again, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, wow. Sam. <laughs> Number nine. Number okay. Nine. The romantic flying scene recap from Superman 4. Oh, now, we boy. all remember the flying scene from the first Superman. It was yeah. charming, romantic, and all that other mushy stuff. Yep. But when you try to recreate it scene by scene, that's uh, just embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, so it starts out with Superman wanting to talk to Lois about something important. 
Rather than just flying to her apartment like before, he decides he wants to fuck around with her a bit. <laughs> Clark? Clark, things aren't that bad! Clark, stop! Clark! Clark! That wonderful green screen effect. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the threat of imminent death would be good for a laugh. <laughs> Seriously, though, I am a human god. Uh. So they decided to go flying around for some reason, as Lois has no questions about her co-worker of 20 years being the man of friggin' steel. Yeah, that's she just hilarious. Accept it like she found just accept it. In her pocket. Yep. Now this scene, in all honesty, wouldn't be quite so bad if they didn't rip off every single moment from the first one. <laughs> Gee, is he gonna fly through the city side by side with her like the first one? You bet. <laughs> Is he going to support her with just his fingertips, which the laws of weight and mass totally says is impossible? <laughs> you know it. Is he going to let her fall just so he can swoop down and save her? Well, it wouldn't be a complete rip-off if he didn't, would it? <laughs> Outside of just using the direct clips, oh, there's absolutely boy. no difference yeah. between this scene and the one from the first film. Mm. What was the point of it? Who knows? Yeah. Maybe it's just to take the number nine spot on this moronic counter. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cheesy. I didn't like the... That one. Number eight. The woman and the baby carriage. Woman and the Superman baby team. carriage. I'm sensing a pattern here that all mothers in Superman movies are complete morons. Yeah. Plus included <laughs> in the latest film too. How much more obvious can you freaking get? But this one takes the cake, as a large tower is about to fall on a woman and her baby. So what does she do? Absolutely nothing. No. Worse than nothing. She covers <laughs> the child with her body. Yeah, that'll save you, you <laughs> It's like They're the duck and cover ways. moments, you, you know. Move back and forth to create a running motion. Look at this. At Classic the the duck and cover. Lying, the way she's standing there crying, she's gonna run to Florida Protect and you back. from the nuclear bombs. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you for not making me run <laughs> in heels. <laughs> I almost killed my only son. Yeah, yeah, that I don't was. Know why mothers are so stupid in these movies? But mm. quite frankly, this is why I think sometimes you need a license to be a parent. Yeah, sometimes you do need a license to be a parent, honestly. Number seven. The special effects of Superman Four. Oh Jesus, I remember the first this. Two films, you could never see those wires that were holding him up. Superman Four. Not so much. <laughs> Look at all these wire shots. They don't even try yeah. to cover them. I remember Not these the as a kid. I remember seeing them. Ago. Yeah, Lois is falling pretty fast there, isn't she? <laughs> She's falling to the ground like a feather. <laughs> and now how about this? You can actually see the black curtains that are supposed to be outer space. Mm. This is like an Edward movie! <laughs> how about this scene when he's carrying the Statue of Liberty? Wow. Instant movie magic. Mm. How about this one stupid blue screen shot that they keep using over and over and over again? You think it's time when you could afford it better for these movies. But in Superman's case, it isn't the lead we can't see through, rather those thick bulging wires that constantly keep getting in the way. Mm. This looks like a job for Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I remember those as a kid. I didn't like those. Number, Number six. six. Took away from the experience. Those stupid, stupid glasses. Oh, come which on. Movie? All of them. How come nobody can ever see past them? Is it really that great a disguise? Those glasses Look, are totally where awesome. Lois takes off Clark's glasses, leaving him totally exposed. <laughs> Somebody freaking notice him! <laughs> I mean, how is everybody constantly fooled? This idea is so flawed that just about everybody in the world has made fun of it. The Tick, Mystery Men, and many more. It's a suspension of disbelief that, quite frankly, everybody disbelieves. Because no one would believe a nerd he could, could be a superhero. As a <laughs> when secretly inside, he's just a hairy, loud, obnoxious comedian. <laughs> Bob, that he's be good. Nearly as plausible, would it? Clark Kent. If you can't see past his glasses, then quite frankly, you need glasses, hmm. and that's no shame. <laughs> I can understand why a lot of people say that, but you know. Number five. He's supposed to be a nerd, you know, a lot of people underestimate him, underestimate him. Now the first thing I thought when I heard Nuclear Man was that weird Captain Planet spin-off, Captain Pollution. And to be fair, I wasn't really that far off. Mm. Nuclear Man was created from Superman throwing all the nuclear missiles of the world okay. into the sun. Don't ask, it's a long story. <laughs> As Lex Luthor gets a snippet of Superman's hair and uses its genetic material oh, to make boy. a claw. Don't ask, it's I remember this, the, the evil when Superman. The missiles are tossed with the hair inside, he gives birth to Nuclear Man. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually willing to buy some of this nonsensical bullshit <laughs> up to a certain point. And that point is, who is born with skin-type spandex and a cape? What? 
chapter of DNA genetic yeah. structure says that's possible. I mean, did he put a strand of Superman's costume in there as well? <laughs> How does that work? Well, in any case, Nuclear Man's birthday suit is quite literally a suit, leaving us with all sorts of questions of implausibility. So, since you're born with an already fitted gay pride mm. parade costume on, what are you gonna do? First, <laughs> I have fun. <laughs> I always called him the evil Superman because he had the same powers as Superman, basically. Number four. Number four. The opening of Superman yeah, 3. Talk oh, I remember this. That was already doomed from the start. <laughs> First of all, look at these credits. All the Superman films began with the credits flying in space. With yeah. That John Williams music. But this one, it looks like they were added in at the last minute. It's I like think this is one with Star Richard Wars Pryor in it. It tried to make a, tried to be a comedy. It wasn't. That, it's pretty much just a half-assed Laurel and Hardy. Yeah, thing. Richard Pryor. As there we go. Yeah. Looking at a woman, Olivia <laughs> Rollerblades crashes into a hot dog cart. The hot dog cart knocks over some phone booths. A toy <laughs> penguin is set on fire, which scares a little doggy that knocks a woman over carrying groceries. A man, another man, <laughs> the ball in the rubber duck pub. I guarantee it. Oh boy. Uh, you get the idea. Yeah. It's about as obnoxiously overblown as a comedy routine can get. Looking yeah. absolutely nothing like a Superman. Mm. In fact, the title just passes by. You wouldn't even <laughs> notice it. But how can you when a man confuses his walking <laughs> dog for a road painter? Yeah, because all blind people are friggin' idiots, right? <laughs> a car speeds out of control, hits a fire hydrant, starts filling up with water. You figure that one out. <laughs> as Superman comes in to rescue the guy from drowning in his own vehicle on dry land. This Damn. is like the dominoes of human misery. Seriously, <laughs> all that's missing to top off this cliche comedic slosh is a fucking mind. Oh, you got it! <laughs> this honestly nice. does not seem real. Yeah, I don't think this was. Wah wah music to get us through this opening. <laughs> right, you blew up the wah wah machine. <laughs> One gigantic comedic moment after another. The only thing missing, the humor. Say thank you. Yeah, I agree. That was terrible, the Richard Pryor one. Free. The mind scrambling kiss from Superman 2. This happens oh after Lois finds out Superman's secret identity. They go all the way through the movie, and I mean all the mm. way, until they get to the very end. As Superman feels Lois' life would be a lot easier, she never knew who he really was. So he gives her a kiss that somehow deletes <laughs> all memory about him being Superman. Yeah, I never What's understood that one. How the fuck does that work? Yeah. Is there a mind-altering breath in his I never, <laughs> I never understood that. Into her brain and take out the parts <laughs> he doesn't like. For that matter, why doesn't he use this power more often? Yeah, I on mean, his enemies forget it'd their be weird, past but you or could something. technically use that kiss to give all the supervillains amnesia. He yeah, that's what I'm and saying. He'd be like, Superman, <laughs> allow me to explain my evil plot. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, and he forgets all his Who childhood. Who the hell am I? <laughs> yeah. I don't tell you be gross, but imagine how many lives you could save. Mm. This was obviously used to get people back to the status quo. Yeah. Lois doesn't know who Superman is, so it keeps the romantic mystery alive. But really, the only mystery left in all of this is, how the hell did that kiss work? Yeah, I always how question that. Uh, how did that work? Alright, number two. Richard Pryor. Oh Superman God, movie. Richard Pryor. Now we've all seen Richard Pryor on He's great, and even but in other movies. Yeah, so seen no evil, he knows evil is incredible. Comic legend. But I think somebody forgot to tell him that when he did Superman 3. <laughs> yeah. Good God, this is one of the unfunniest performances ever. Mm. And it wouldn't be so bad if he didn't have too much screen time, but to be honest, I think he actually has more time on screen than Superman does. Just watch some of his hilarious antics. It was great! He was just flying around. Shh! The cake was blowing in the wind. And he landed right in the middle of this big plantation. Shh! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> right. And he looked, checked everything yeah, out. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, vision it's cringy. Dried up everything. Just like that! I'm <laughs> talking about dried it up like the machines that they have in the men's rooms. You know what I'm talking about? The hot air comes Damn. out, you put your hands under there and you dry them off. Sometimes they don't work, right? The cringe. <laughs> It's the Ross. It was the, the big. <laughs> the cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Nothing was funny! <laughs> like, Get off the, the stage! The <laughs> Superman's bad. Right. No, you're bad. I mean, you're really bad. 
I seriously yeah, don't I didn't know enjoy his blame. performance the director, in this one. The actor, the writer, I don't know, but nothing about him works. <laughs> it's like one of those gamma rays came out and sucked out all the funny from him. Mm. I mean, what happened? Don't call me a bum. I'm not a bum. From comedic god to comedic clod, this is one performance from a comedy legend that I'm sure he wants to forget. Yeah, I wanted to forget this one. This was really bad, this one. Yeah, I didn't like the Richard Pryor one. The number one dumbest Superman moment Number one. Here we go. Spinning the earth backwards from Superman 1. I remember it's this. Like this is incredible. The movie should have the biggest flaw. But in this nonsensical, moronic conclusion to an otherwise flawless movie, it's pretty hard to overlook. <laughs> it all starts as Lois Lane actually dies in an earthquake because Superman could only stop one missile mm. but not the other. So we have a very sad and very dramatic moment which is mm. suddenly botched by probably the biggest cop-out in Superman history. <laughs> Superman flies around the world several times, forcing the rotation of the Earth to go backwards, yeah. thus sending everything back in time. That way, he can stop the other <laughs> missile, allowing Lois to live. It's Where going so fast, he can go I back begin? in time or something First, like that. If you stop the <laughs> Earth and spin it back in time, you wouldn't time travel. People would just <laughs> fall off the friggin' thing. <laughs> and everyone will fly off the face of the Earth. I think it's about going faster Second, than the speed of light. If you could do that, so you could travel. If could spin the Earth backwards, why the hell couldn't he just get both missiles <laughs> then? Look, one will be there, and one will be there. <laughs> he passes them in like a nanosecond. Even you, with your great speed, couldn't Yeah, I feel like it's something no, about the faster than the speed of light. Earth and change the rotation. Um, Third, you can if go he back in time back or something like that. Lois, Who knows? That must mean there's another Superman somewhere stopping the one <laughs> other missile from before. So, really, shouldn't there be two Supermans flying around? I mean, where's the <laughs> other one? And if he didn't get so angry because <laughs> Lois didn't die, does that mean he would have no reason to spin the Earth back to begin with? Fourth! Why hasn't he done this before? <laughs> I oh mean, boy, that is confusing. Wasn't there a day when he came in late to work and was like, Ooh, 905, they'll dock my pay if I'm late again. <laughs> 8.59, right on schedule. <laughs> That's four problems with my number one pick as people still oh today can't figure out the technicals of this scene. Mm. No logic, no reason, no way that this moment makes any sense whatsoever. Mm. And those are the top 11 stupidest Superman movies. <laughs> but I have to admit, for all the bad times, the Superman movies really do manage to put yeah. me in a good mood. Mm. I've seen Some of them. Reed right before he had that tragic accident and died. Oh, yeah, no, that sucks. Or Margaret dead, Cuter yeah. right before she went mentally insane. <laughs> or the shots of New York with the World Trade Center in the background oh ooh, a sensitive I'm subject gonna i'm gonna go kill myself <laughs> it's a good idea a lot of people are gonna be a bit sensitive about that <gasps> subject <laughs> oh boy okay so um yeah we need to uh, talk about that uh superman scene where he's flying around the world i think uh it has something to do with going faster than the speed of light if you can travel faster than the speed of light because they say nothing can travel faster than the speed of light um if you do if you are capable of um doing that i think we're we're capable of traveling uh faster than sound i believe um but we're not capable of traveling faster than the speed of light but if we do we have the capability of um going f faster in time uh, i believe something like that i don't know the mathematical scientific explanations all i know is that <laughs> if you do pull it off um you will be able to uh i don't know i don't know if you can time travel like go back um but i think you can go forward um and become older than everyone else um, or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I have to do my research, so don't take that to the bank. I'm really bad with my facts. But, uh, it's a, it's a very fascinating, um, sort of thing, because, I, I mean, back in the day, in the, you know, when they made, uh, the first Superman, um, uh, movie, that was a, a fascinating thing, a concept, you know, traveling so fast that you go back in time. I mean, that, that's actually, uh, quite fascinating. I wonder if it has actually a, a reality to it. I'm not a scientist, and I know that sounds really stupid, but um, it's it's you know time travel is possible. Um, I mean it's it's probably possible. I'm sure if you survive a, a black hole or something like that, um, you know you'll probably go through uh, one 
galaxy to another in a different time or who knows who knows uh we don't have the technology uh the scientific answers yet we've still got a lot to learn we can't pretend that we know everything you know things change uh sometimes we have the answer for everything and the answer changes over time you know so, uh, sometimes things just change uh, so I don't know if uh, time travel is possible under the right circumstances and mechanics and machinery I know it's possible maybe uh, a quantum computer to alternate for alternate realities to build like a quantum computer to um, you know change other realities who knows I'm going into the sky fi fantasy now, but I love talking about this stuff. I don't know how we talked about all this stuff going from Superman, so let's stop it here. Uh, but if, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>